Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. How are we doing today? How's it? How's everybody in the internet, internet world? Uh, this is Jeff Evans with Social Deal Connect. I'm hanging out here with you all, uh, doing my series of how business and social media work together, the social of business. And I am so lucky to have in my midst, via the World Wide Web, Miss Liz Galloway of Latitude, Latitude 38 Tours. Are you out there? I'm here. It's a pleasure to be here. Oh, sweet, sweet. All right, so I was just thinking that it's been not quite a year since I've met you. And I was, I was also thinking of, in 2015 of all of the interesting people that I met during that year, which was pretty unprecedented. I traveled quite a bit and met quite a few cool people. And I would definitely say that you stand at the top of the list of somebody who's out there doing cool stuff all the time. And that's one of the oh, reasons I'm here. <laughs> I like that introduction. I can't beat that. <laughs> no, no, I'm serious, though. Uh, uh, look, like, from the, all I know, and I'm sure I don't even know the half of it, is uh, uh, you're on the board of directors of the Holiday Chamber of Commerce. You're on the board of directors of the National Association of Women Business Owners, who allow me to hang out with them once in a while, so that's cool. Uh, world traveler, helicopter pilot, really? Yeah, yeah, that too. <laughs> Gotta have that. And then um, entrepreneur, business owner, uh, and also advocate for the community as far as not only our community, but your, your business is in the travel industry, but then you're also an advocate for the travel industry and having it give back to the community that it serves. Is that about right? Yeah, I mean, that sums it up pretty well. I've been in uh, travel, tourism, marketing for 15 some years. So yes, I'm really at that age where I can count in decades. Um, and what I've, I've come to realize is that I've seen too many times the negative effects on tourism in the actual communities on the ground. Um, so people get to come in and they see all the great things about travel and tourism. And it's kind of this take, take, take element. But what's left behind is a lot of um, effects on that culture and socioeconomic effects. And, and maybe they're not getting paid a fair wage. And there's so many other things that go into it that can be improved. And those are not things that people get to see. And I think that now people are making more conscious decisions about how they are traveling and working with outfitters and tours and providers that actually give back. So they want their dollars to do something that matters. So that's a huge portion of what I'm doing right now. All right, well, let's backtrack just a little bit and talk about your business, uh, Latitude 38. Um, you'll be impressed. There's, there's the graphic right behind me. Isn't that neat? <laughs> <laughs> Love it. <laughs> So anyway, tell us a little bit about that. Uh, I, um, I've looked into it and uh, we've discussed uh, uh, what you're up to. This is basically outdoorsy people travel for people that are not outdoorsy. And I think I would qualify in that. Kind of luxurious camping or something of that effect. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean there's a huge sector of people that want to connect with nature and want to get out there and do these really kind of active things. Uh, what I like to say is we're kind of the Bear grill survival outing paired with like the Auberge <laughs> Resort Collection or the Ritz or something like that um, because we actually provide this um, uh, unique pop-up campsite where it's the base camp. You get to have all the luxuries of a five-star location. Uh, full service, but we take you out and we're actually implementing you and teaching you uh, survival skills or getting you in the active outdoor, you know, tourism and industry, repelling, hiking, whatever. There are some tours we'll even take you in, you know, helicopter tours, obviously, because you know I love those. And um, in the cockpit of a fighter jet pilot, you know, kind of, there's all kinds of very unique elements that we play into it. Um, so most of it is oriented to people who are going to afford a little bit more luxury, but we do um, work with people on nonprofit parks to give back. And you know, even when we're 
booking those at tours with higher end people, we make sure that that portion is really given back to every single spot that we're going to and is filtered back into the nonprofit. So that's the whole goal. All right. So, so tell me, how does somebody, I mean, you have a fantastic website. I've looked at that. Um, and you seem to uh, do a wide range, not only from being uh, tours that are just here in Utah, uh, but all over the world, basically, and for, for different demographics, the type of people. Can we go into kind of how you spread it out like that? Sure. So, um, like I said, we, we provide very unique pop-ups. So I've, I've only chosen five specific locations for that purpose. Um, and, and actually five that I've loved and lived in and spent time in. So I know the locations very well. So that's another reason why I chose them. Um, and the five locations are Southern Utah, Black Rock Desert, Nevada, Big Sur, California, um, Marrakesh, uh, Morocco, and Costa Rica all throughout. And so we can provide the skills and we give back in each one of those locations and partnered with people who can provide, give back to nonprofits there too. Um, but they're chosen specifically because I know those locations, I've operated in those locations, and I know that I can provide a very high end experience there. So it kind of stays within our elements. Um, I don't see that branching out too much because I do want to keep it very specialized. Um, and they are very limited trips, and they're not uh, they're not offered that often. So. All right. Well, uh, speaking of trips, let's talk a little bit about your trip to Vietnam lately. Oh yeah. And, and how that pairs into your another entrepreneurial venture you've got going on uh, where you went to Vietnam you met with uh, you know with the people there you you basically embedded yourself with the people there <laughs> and um, learned learned about uh, some of their you know their their skills some of the products they make some of their their arts and crafts and have developed a way to bring that to market here in the United States in more of a direct way that benefits them without, say, the middleman, that they reap the benefits of their, their labors directly from what you're setting up. Can you talk to us about that a bit? That, but yeah, I'm going to follow up on your question. So I was recently trekking in Vietnam a few months ago, and it was just really kind of auspicious in the moment of meeting the women that were taking me out on the tours and every one of those businesses was women owned they were ethnic minority owned from the Hmong hill tribes women and these were people that were operating their own social enterprises and so with that discussion we just started talking about um, partnerships and increasing the visibility of bringing their handicrafts overseas and since that's kind of some of my background i said you know why don't we create a system where we can bring this to market and then make sure that you can get funds back to create the schools that you need, um, you know, the supplies and volunteers that you need. And it's very focused, well, it's only focused on impoverished women and children. So that's something that's um, important to my vision and heart and that I've embedded in my business. But it just happened to be that um, when I was vacationing I decided to start a whole other venture that, that paired very well with what I was already doing and why not it seems that you can't handle just going on a vacation you got to go and, and, I, and can. I don't know if that's a curse or a blessing but well if nothing it's, it's the burden you bear right now and it seems that it, it uh, reaps a lot of benefit for people who who could really use it I remember uh, not so long ago at the uh, Nabo Christmas party, which is the National Association of Women Business Owners, their Christmas party, you had a few examples of some of their works that you uh, gave away in a raffle. And the, the artwork was very exquisite. It was, it was very nice. So it's high quality product, that's for sure, made by great people that you met. Yeah, I mean, it's very specific to their culture, so it's very bright colors, it's hand embroidery, um, it, very specific patterns, you know, so uh, either you love it or you don't, but I happen to love it, and I uh, so far I've had a lot of great positive feedback, and that is actually uh, a product that will be featured at the event next week, 
um, and we'll have some ladies, you know, showcasing it, and people have the opportunity to purchase it at a discounted price that will support the event. So um, they can be fashion savvy and they can be cause based and give back. So it's it's something great for everybody. All right. Well, since you brought it up, you're bringing up the event. You have a a major a major doings on Tuesday, March eighth. <laughs> at the University of Utah in the Union Building. Uh, and, and that's called the Travel Plus Social Good Launch Party. This is another another thing you're involved in as far as uh, uh, launching a Salt Lake chapter of the Travel Plus Social Good. Can you first talk about a little bit, I mean, we, we touched on it a little bit earlier what some of the, you know, the basic criteria that you're talking about developing within the travel industry, but uh, tell us exactly what Travel Plus Social Good is. So Travel Plus Social Good is an international nonprofit uh, that gives back to different cultures around the world. And their whole cause is that they want to bring attention and awareness to the fact that there's a lot of powerful dollars behind the travel and tourism industry and that we have a responsibility to use that for good. Um, to create some more social enterprise and, and return for that. Um, and they have hubs all over, um, from Dubai to Chicago and, and New York, um, and now Salt Lake City, which I'm heading up that hub. And that's the kickoff event next Tuesday to kind of bring people together and let them know what we're doing and also see how they want to get involved. And just to bring more awareness about the fact that there is a lot of power behind the industry and um, we all have a responsibility no matter how small in our small spheres or our large corporations to to give back all right that's fantastic so let's now go uh, right into the event itself the launch so that'll be uh tuesday march 8th i am very proud that uh, my little company social Duda connect is a sponsor of this event i'm really proud to be on board with you and helping you out with that um so it's it's kind of a again it's an awareness thing uh, awareness uh, you'll, you'll have a panel of six experts is that right that's right yeah we've got everybody from it's very diverse you know, people from utah tourism board uh, world trade center utah sustainable startups women's business center um, travel industry experts and previous um peace corps volunteers so Right, and I noticed it's at the University of Utah Union Building at the top floor. I saw a picture of it. It looks it looks a little nicer than when I went to school there, so that's good. <laughs> yeah, it's it's a great venue. It's it's gonna it's set up to be a lot of fun that that evening, and the spot is bright, and we're gonna have a nice view of the Valley of Salt Lake and a lot of fun music panel. Food, drinks, fashion, um, and you know, I do want to just kind of interject a, a special thank you to the many, many um, sponsors, including yourselves, who have donated their time and resources and and, and money. Well, that's that's fantastic. Um, so, how how is it going to go down? You said. Not only you have the panel of six experts, you have other sponsors. Um, why don't you uh, talk about a couple of other sponsors that are on board? Uh, we've got a, a lot of sponsors. I mean, that's I kind of want to send a special thank you to everyone. I mean, for yourself, uh, who is a pro in the industry and, and talking about social media and marketing, but we've got um, several people who are. The raffle sponsors, we've got sponsors who are providing the event space, uh, sponsors who are providing um, alcohol, cocktails. It's all across the board. Uh, I, I could go, the list is long, so I don't know if you want me to go. No, 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 that's not. Um, but they can actually I, already mentioned, I already mentioned the one that was most important to me. So. <laughs> Yourself, yeah. <laughs> no, I mean, it's that every single person who has gotten involved with this has made it possible and made it really successful and um, it, it's made me feel really good to see the overwhelming positive response and support that I've gotten um, by this so that's I can't say how much I appreciate that um, and I do want people to definitely patron 
every single sponsor that we have, including yourself, and and make sure you know they can go to the event spots um, either on the malandco.live page or the Facebook event page, and they can see all the sponsors there. Um, but it's it's very hard to make a, a great event without getting the community involved. And again, because I like to give back to the community, and I'm always out there volunteering too. Um, it's really nice to see the support that's been returned. Um, so I can't say enough about that. Well, it sounds like a great time, and I'm looking forward to being there. Uh, I mean, you, you're going to have great information. Uh, there's going to be a great group of people there. Um, music, you said there's a raffle going on. Uh, right. Cocktails, you know. Oh, did I see tapas too? Did I see that as well? Yeah, well, I guess we're going to have to feed you if we're <laughs> offering cocktails. <laughs> but yeah, there will be plenty for people to enjoy and uh, eat, drink, be entertained by. So. All right, so uh, we, we talked about this a little bit earlier before we went on live. Tell me in, in, in your mind, at the end of the day, what would you – what, what will happen in your mind to make this a successful event? Um, there's a lot, I guess, but um, I think a couple of bullet points would be getting people involved in the Salt Lake Hub of Travel Plus Social Good. Um, people behind that, because this will be the first of uh, a quarterly series of Travel Plus Social Good events that will happen in 2016. So if anyone wants to get involved with that, they can contact me direct. Um, to, to just bring more education to the system if you're involved in tourism in the industry, you know, look at what options you can create and provide to do more social good. Um, and then, of course, you know, to bring in a, a financial support for the nonprofits that I'm not only that I have, but that I'm working with in Utah and Vietnam. So that obviously donations, grants, purchasing, all of that is, is going to be a, a great benefit in return. So we hope that that is a great support system there too. Well, it sounds like you have uh, definitely laid the foundation for a really successful event and probably what I would guess would be one of the more marquee clubs in the entire uh, Travel Plus Social Good network. So, I mean, I know if you're involved in it, it's going to be good for sure. So, anyway. <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Blasting it out there as much as I can. Obviously, I mean, you you know social media, so it's definitely helped get the word out about that. And, uh, you know, being consistent in that has gotten me um, media attention. It has gotten me followers and sponsors and supporters. Um, you know, using it effectively. It's, you know, it's important. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work, but it's important. So No, but you've done a great job at it. On the social media side, uh, you know, I definitely pay attention to that, um, you know, all day, and I I see the good work you've done and, and, you know, the great images, the targeting, the descriptions, the times that you send them out. Uh, yeah, it's all over the place, and you're doing a really good job of getting the word out through your social networks. So. Well, I hope so. I mean, it's important. So, And, uh, you know, obviously there will be a huge portion of that when we talk at the event, too, to hashtag the event, to... Um, if you see those sponsors, hashtag those sponsors, you know, because that's how, um, you know, exposure is created, give back is created, and just the, the continual connections, you know, shares, and you know how that all works. You, you're yeah, going to explain it better than me. <laughs> no, yeah, you're doing a great job of it, and I, I see everybody sharing it, and a lot of people really getting excited for the event, and, and not only for the event itself, but what the event represents. So, uh I look forward to being there on uh, Tuesday, March 8th at the University of Utah Union Ballroom on the top floor, hanging out, getting some good information, seeing some really neat stuff, seeing a great sunset, right? And Yeah, yeah, it better be. It's going to be clear, right? <laughs> <laughs> so uh, what, time does the, what time does it start? Uh, registration is at 6 p.m. There is free parking on the north side of the Union Building. I just want to give a shout out to that because that's important up there. Mm -hmm. um, so starting at 6, we end at 9. Um, there is pretty much a full room already pre-registered, but we are going to be open to tickets that day. Um, they will go up to $20 the day of the event. 
but there will be a few spaces still open if people want to join. All right. Sounds good. I'll be there. So it'll be it'll be fun. <laughs> it'll be fun for sure. And you know what, Liz, I really appreciate you. I really appreciate you taking the time for joining me today and telling me about all the fun stuff you're up to and especially about uh, this launch party coming up on Tuesday. And for our folks out there, don't forget to visit uh, Latitude38 at www.latitude38.com. You can follow Miss Liz Galloway on Twitter at Latitude38Tours. If you feel like following me once in a while, it's at Jeff Go Social. And this has been a fantastic chat. I really appreciate it. And I look forward to uh, seeing you and getting back with the peeps who are online and letting everybody know how it went. Thank you. It's been fabulous. And I, I, you know, as you as a sponsor has made this uh, very special, and I appreciate you taking the time to do this interview. All right. No problem. My pleasure. So to everybody out there in the Internet world, uh, we'll see you on Tuesday, March 8th at the University of Utah Union Building for the Travel Plus Social Good launch party. All the cool kids will be there, so join in. Uh, for Liz Galloway, I'm Jeff Evans with Social Deal Connect, and we will talk to you soon.